The Cobalt 3 gallon air compressor. Uh, I'm going to do a quick review and a test on that amazing piece of equipment. And in typical fashion, we're out of beer. Um, Double Nut Brown is awesome, by the way, from Mammoth Brewery. So if they want to sponsor, um, yeah, I'll take that. Anyway, the Cobalt uh, 3 gallon air compressor will fill up your car tires just fine, not a problem. Turns on, uh, run around, fill them all up. Uh, the motor will kick on, but you don't have to stop. It will keep up unless all of your tires are at zero PSI and then, you know, you should uh, wait anyway. Uh, nail gun is the next thing. I don't have it with me right now because it's at my parents' house, but uh, it works wonderfully. I built this um, fine piece of American craftsmanship right here that you see that the air compressor is sitting on. Uh, obviously there's some screws, but the nail gun was the main piece to get it going real quick, uh, throw it together, and the Cobalt 3 gallon air compressor worked perfectly for that too. Now, what I really want to know is will it work with an impact wrench? Because according to math and science and physics, if you subscribe to that kind of stuff, it shouldn't. It should not work. But uh, we're going to give it a try. So it's already kicked up. It's uh, about 125 PSI on the tank and uh, I think we're going to try down at 100 PSI on the tool line. All right, so 100 PSI to the tool. And... <laughs> All right, let's do this. Come on, lock. Come on, bitch. All right, we'll just hold the cord. Um, that one's my lock, so let's see what happens. Is it on uh, reverse? <laughs> now you know these are also torqued insanely high because I just got new tires and it came back from the uh, shop and you know they just use this to put them on which is not good but anyway <laughs> okay, so it turns out the line pressure actually uh, for the tool dropped down to 75. I guess when I turned it, it just was a little too much and wasn't paying attention. So we're going to try it again with the, uh, the keyed uh, lug nut here. And it's at 100 PSI. We'll see if that works. If not, we'll crank it up a little bit more. And if that doesn't work, then it's a fail. But uh, we did get four out of the five off, and that was way better than I was expecting. So. That's amazing. Cobalt, three gallon air compressor, 2.6, was an SCFM at 90 PSI. Um, this doesn't, I don't know what the rating is on this impact gun, but the cheapest, crappiest ones I've seen are at least like 5.2. Um, now that's probably to get the 400 foot pounds or however much they're rated at, and these probably aren't at that, but uh, I mean, that's, this is really the only reason I want an impact wrench, is for taking off wheels, and it seems to work. Uh, good enough for a cheap little hundred dollar air compressor, so I'm excited. Just want to add that uh, we messed up a little bit when I was turning down the pressure. Uh, it went down to 75 PSI. I wasn't aware when I was over there. We did the other side of the car, uh, just over 100, about 105 PSI, and they zipped off no problem. Um, so the little Cobalt 3 gallon air compressor did exactly what I wanted. Pretty happy with it. So, cool.